Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation A View to a Kill. Uh, turn 14.2 CCP and 14.3 USSR. I'm battling the Germans, I'm battling Japan, and I'm battling COVID. So uh, I'm calling an audible, going to try to do this turn somewhat on the fly, and we'll see how dysfunctional I am. <clears throat> So, uh, we can skip CCP's turn because they have no units on the board. <coughs> and we'll start 14.3 USSR. It is January 1943. I have four tech rolls. I tried for advanced artillery at a seven or higher. PBE generated a nine, so I succeeded and advanced to stage three. I'm, I'm on having one of the luckiest games of tech I have ever had. Second... I tried for improved factories at a 7 or higher. PPE generated an 11. So I succeeded and I complete that stage. That's what I really wanted. Improved factories gets me T-34s and enables me to pump out units up at the front. Very handy. Third, I tried for heavy armor at an 8 or higher. PPE generated a 7, so I just missed. Uh, fourth, I tried for improved logistics at an 8 or higher. PPE generated a 12, and I succeeded advancing to stage Two. Okay, purchases. Let's, uh, while I'm getting the camera sorted, I just want to shout out to Hambone and his tremendous composure and sportsmanship getting his bomber shot down again. We all know how Boss and Bruce would have handled it. Um, I would have had a complete meltdown. This is... What you don't know is that in playtesting, he tried four strategic bombing runs in his last game and got shot down four times. So he's just totally cursed. He, he's just, it's, and his tech is, is horrible too. Anyway, um, okay, so I have 50 IPP to spend. I'm going to purchase, I'm going to upgrade two militia to infantry for four. Uh... I'm going to purchase nine advanced mechanized infantry for 36, that's 40, and two T-34s for 10, that brings me up to 50. Okay, combat. I'm going to do the convoy raiding up in A8 with that coastal sub on the Norwegian line way up there, the top of your screen there, little sub with the white on its top. In A13, I'll conduct convoy raiding um, on the Swedish line. Uh, USSR declares war on Finland, and my fleet, the, consisting of a heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and three destroyers, will attack the Finnish coastal defense ship. Um, I've, I'm changing out these three territories for Germans because I'm not going to attack them. So that gives Panzer J three more income. He jumps from, I think, up to 63. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then I left the ones in white that I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack that coastal fence ship. And then I'm also attacking Vapuri province. From Karelia, 12 infantry will move into Vapuri. And this fighter from Leningrad will move one to Karelia and two into Vapuri. I think maybe if I fly over the fortification, it triggers the triggers the fortification. But it might be the aircraft don't trigger the fortification. But I'll if you if you can remind me in the comments, let me know if I needed to do that little jinx move or a jinky step to the side. I meant move to fly in there. So that's what I'm going to hit that with. Then um, down here, I'm going to have some com combat. I'm going to take one cavalry from Oral Kursk, and it will move uh, one into eastern Ukraine, two into southern Ukraine. It's not worth anything. And then into Kiev, I will drop one airborne, fly my two planes, the tactical and the fighter, and bring one motorized infantry from eastern Ukraine. 
and then into Western Ukraine, everything that can reach other than those units. So going in there will be four militia, 25 infantry, I think there's four motorized infantry because one of them went over Pripyat marches there's swiveling uh four motorized infantry three anti-aircraft artillery and 12 advanced mechanized infantry and one light armor Okay, so that one is worth one. Germany goes down to 62, tied with America. And um, USSR goes up to 43. Uh, and then I've got a, an attack on Primorsky Cry. Over here in Primorsky Cry. I will move in there with, why don't we go in with three militia. <coughs> <coughs> Let's chip that out, should have been better prepared. Four militia. Okay, so I'll go in there with three militia. leaving behind three militia here, and I'll send in the jet. So jet has four movement left. Okay, those are my attacks. So let's move over to the dice tower. Rotate this down a little bit. Is that? Somewhat centered. Okay. Let's do the coastal sub convoy rating A8. I think Germany's at stage two on radar. No stage, maybe he's on stage two. I think he's stage one. I think he failed last, last time. Red is the attacker. I get a plus one. So one point of damage to the Norwegian line. I believe that knocks... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I had Germany at 68, so that knocks him down to 67. All right, let's do the normal sub convoy rating in A13. Red is the attacker. Get a plus two with this one. Okay, so I maxed out, did three points of damage there. So that would knock Panzer J down to 64 by my count. All right, let's do that. Naval combat versus the Finnish coastal defense ship. So I've got one uh, heavy cruiser at six. That's a hit. He defends also at defends at a six. His coastal defense ship defends at a six. Miss. Okay, so the Finnish uh, coastal defense ship is destroyed. Now we've got the Vipuri province attack. I have 12. It might be 12 at 2, because I don't think Marsh affects infantry. Let me double check on that. Let's see. Marsh hurts vehicle class only, so 12. I'll do 6 at one, uh, 2, and then repeat it for the second round. Okay, that's pretty bad hide net coordination when you drop two dice out of six. Two, four, six. Okay, so here's first with the infantry. One hit, that's perfectly average. And we'll swing again. Second hit. All right, so I've got two of his three hits, and then I've got my fighter and tactical. So the Oh no, I've only got a fighter up there. It's the fighter and tactical are down in the south. 
So one fighter at six. If I hit here, he's he's dead. Nope. Um, okay, so he still will have one infantry remaining. So he's got three at four. Oh, that's above average. Okay. So that drops me from 12 to nine. I need another chip. Okay, so I've got nine infantry and a fighter versus one infantry. It's pretty much how the Finns fought. All right, so why don't I do my fighter? See if I hit there. Miss. Boy, that, that guy's rolling 10. I'm just going to roll this. This doesn't count. Just see. Okay. That was kind of freaky. I should roll that die for tech. Uh, I've got nine at two. And I got the hit I need. So he's got one at four. Miss. Okay. So I take the Puri province, which isn't worth anything, with nine infantry. And we'll just tell you in advance that the fighter is going to go land in Leningrad. In general, it's always good to have a fighter in Leningrad. It prevents the West Germany to... Moscow, surprise attack. Okay. Uh, I've got an attack in Kiev. So in Kiev, I've got one um, motorized, which is crossing a river. So he only does, he's only at a one. So the motorized at one, miss. The airborne at three, miss. The fighter at six and the tactical at seven. Jesus. <laughs> okay, he's got one at two with his militia. Oh, one at three. I should have rolled a three because he's in a city. No, he's surrounded. Uh, so it is, it's one at one actually. Um, so he missed anyway. He rolled a seven. Okay, let's try again. Let's try the fighter at six. Okay, that hit. And then he gets one at one. Miss. Okay. So I go up three. Germany goes down three. Didn't take any losses there. Uh, Germany goes to 59. And Russia goes to 46. All right. Um, a more, no, Primorsky Cry. Primorsky Cry, I've got that jet at eight. Miss. <laughs> okay, he's got three, or three, I think it's mountainous. Let's, yeah, it's mountainous, and it's across the river. So I've got three at one with my militia. Nope. And he's got one at two with his militia. Miss. I've got three at one with my militia. Miss. I've got one at eight. There we go. And he's got the one at two. Miss. Okay, so I took Primorsky Cry with three militia. That's worth two. So USSR goes up to 48. And Japan goes to 51. I might, I think I have Japan off. I do. I, I don't have, I don't think I have Japan correct. <sighs> okay. I think we're ready for non-combat. Let me just double check. Did I miss something? I got everything. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go look at up by Leningrad. I'm going to have a move out of Leningrad. I've got, I think I've got 10 infantry still in there in an AA gun. Yep, so 10 infantry will move out into northern Belarusia, and four militia will move from northern Belarusia 
into Leningrad. So they swapped. I think from southern Belarusia, this militia will move up to northern Belarusia. From western Belarusia, or from western Russia, um, hmm. I think it, it will move into northern Belarusia. So I have two militia there in northern Belarusia. Is this all on camera? No, I'm totally discombobulated about where I am. Oh, yeah, 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 we're totally good. Okay. So from Kaluga Oblast, two militia will move into Smolensk. From... Oral Kursk. Hmm. Six militia and 16 infantry will move to eastern Ukraine. From Moscow, five um, advanced mechanized infantry will move to Oral Kursk. From Stalingrad, four advanced mechanized infantry will move to Oral Kursk. So I got nine in there. Let's get a red chip out. Okay. Uh, the planes will, well, maybe the planes will land in eastern Ukraine. the air transport, the fighter, and the tactical. Uh, how about, can we see Saratov and Tulelepesk? Yep, those two little militia stacks. What I'm going to do is have three militia go to Stalingrad from Saratov, and three militia go to Moscow from Tulelepesk. From western Kazakhstan, one militia will move to Kalmitskaya. From Kalmitskaya to or three militia will move to Donetskuban or Donetskuban. Keep adding an I in there where there shouldn't be one. Um, from Northern Caucasia, two militia will move down to Transcaucasia. Is that on camera? That is not. Okay, I moved from two militia from Northern Caucasia down to Transcaucasia. So in Transcaucasia, that gets me six militia. From Transcaucasia, three infantry will move to North Caucasia. Hmm. No, one will move north. These other two will strategic rail move to Eastern Ukraine. Okay. I think I think that might be it over here. I'm just going to swap out a chip here. I'm going to take out this red chip. Swap it with the Transcaucasia guys. The reason why is because there's going to be a stack here in Eastern Ukraine of four, Ukraine, uh, four militia and then another little stack of two because this is where the two upgraded militia are going to be in Eastern Ukraine. Those, they're, uh, I'll upgrade those two guys into the infantry. All right, let's now look at... Siberia. Got to do some shuffling over there. All righty. Hmm. Think I will have two militia. I kind of like having two militia there. I will amoeba this infantry for Buryatia. One will go to here and one will go to here. So I'll have two infantry in there. 
Now, is that enough? Or will he come after me? Hmm. I think I'll be a coward. I'll have this cavalry move back to here. I'll have the jet land here in Cheetah. And I'll have one more militia in Cheetah. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully that's good. Hmm. Okay. Um, do I have any other non-combat movement? I don't think so. Don't have anything to do in Spain. Uh, Panzer J, you thought you had five, but you actually have six for recruitment in Spain. There are 11, so you have six and I have five. So you have four there on the Iberian Peninsula. And then you have the Balearic Islands and Spanish Morocco. I have these three down here, um, plus two on the Iberian Peninsula. So I have a, a recruitment roll of five. I didn't tee it up, but I'll just roll that, the roll of the Spanish recruitment roll instead of PBE, instead of pbe -ing it. Okay, so I need a five or less. Nope. All right, um, collect income. No, place units, I should do place units. So I already said that in uh, U Eastern Ukraine, that's where I wanted to upgrade my two militia to infantry. So I'll take two militia off and convert them into two more infantry. So this stack is 20 infantry. So it was 16. I railed two from Transcaucasia. I upgraded two militia. All right. Um, now I've got 11 units. Well, now that I have improved factories, I can build eight out of this major factory in Orel Kursk and two out of each of these. So I've got nine advanced mechanized infantry and the two T-34s. Well, all of those can be built in Orel Kursk. So in Orel Kursk, I'm adding another nine uh, advanced mechanized. So I'll take one ship off of what's there, which is the nine. So that drops 18. I have 18 advanced mechanized in Orel Kursk and two T-34s. All right. That's place units, collect income. So I think America's still going to give me the Lend-Lease, but they might not. Uh, let me know, Hambone, if that's denied. Otherwise, I have 48 plus 5 would be 53 for next turn. Let's do disposition of forces. All right. Um, let's do my Navy. In A8, I have the coastal sub. In A13, I have a normal sub. In A14, I have a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and three destroyers. All right. In Kola, I have a militia. In Vipuri, I have nine infantry. In Leningrad, I have four. Is that right? Four militia. And an anti-aircraft artillery, a fighter, a strategic rocket, coastal gun, fortification. In northern Belarusia, two militia, ten infantry. In Smolensk, two militia. In Moscow, three militia, and I have built fortification. In Orel Kursk, I have 18 advanced mechanized infantry and two T-34s. In eastern Ukraine, I have 20 infantry, four militia, a fighter, a tactical, and an air transport. In Kiev, I have an air, uh, airborne 
and a motorized infantry. In Western Ukraine, I have four militia, 25 infantry, four motorized infantry, three anti-aircraft artillery, one light armor, and 12 advanced mechanized. In Southern Ukraine, I have a cavalry. In Crimea, I have two militia. You know what? I'm going to move these two infantry up here too, to Tarita. So I just have two militia in Crimea and in Tarita, I have two infantry. In Donetsk, Kuban, I have three militia. In Kalmitskaya, I have one militia. In Stalingrad, three militia. Oopsie, I see that that this move, these moves down here where I moved these guys around wasn't on camera. Sorry about that. North Caucasia, I have one infantry. Transcaucasia, six militia, two anti-aircraft artillery. M12, the escort duty torpedo boat destroyer. In Novosibirsk, three militia, one infantry. In Cheetah, three militia, two anti or two infantry, one cavalry, one jet fighter. That's my wife, so I'm gonna call it.